It's game three and Embiid's play, and you know I had to break out the Iverson, even though that's going to be a separate video. What's up, everybody? I go by Elegant Eddie. This is the E and Double D's Sports Fanatics podcast. Um, real quick before I get started, I just a real quick disclaimer. Yes, I just created this as a sports content page. No, I did not delete all my videos from Eddie's YouTube past. No, I don't feel I have to. Why? It's called growth. Get you some. If you don't like it, maybe you need to go get a girl or go get a hug, a magazine, uh, $5, something, because like, there's far bigger problems in the world, man. I know I was a mess, a miggity mess. I get that, and I still can be. When I let God take the wheel, though, things make sense. So that's that. Shout out to Philly Mike. Um, if you haven't, please give um uh, Philly's the Philly Talk podcast. Philly Mike, give him a subscribe on YouTube. It's the Philly Talk podcast. Endorse me earlier. His live feeds are off the chain. When you think Eagles and Sixers YouTube content, Philly Mike comes to mind. Um. So with that being said, we're going to do something different for you folks today. Everyone has their favorite sprint car designs, right? Well, if you're a sprint car fan, you do, don't you? You do. You do. Here are my top 10 all-time PA Posse sprint car designs. Keep in mind, I will have an honorable mention, but I am going to keep this brief. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, please. Share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel to see more awesome content of racing, Eagles football, Sixers basketball, and some other sports stuff we do along the way. Let's get right into it with number 10. Number 10 is going to be, and this was a very hard choice between which one, but number 10, we're going to go with the yellow one. The Joe Har's Carl Haar's furniture, um, I think it was Carl Haar's, I'm sorry if it's not, uh, the Miller Brothers Chevrolet, yellow, blue, and white, number 88H, that was driven by, pff, who wasn't that car driven by, among others, uh, Fred Raymer and the immortal Lance DeWeese, beautiful car, beautiful wrap on it, um, it stuck out like a sore thumb because you really don't see many yellow cars like that. Um, again, this is specifically a posse video. I'll do my outlaw ranking another time. That car went to victory lane many times. It's a car I miss today. Um, and it's one of the most legendary and iconic cars in central Pennsylvania racing history. On the number nine, we'll go with the other 88 the one I liked more, obviously, the red and white Gary and Patty Beam 88, driven mostly by Mater Jinx and Todd Schaefer. I think Stutz drove it for a little bit when it was still owned by Gary and Patty Beam. It, it may still be, but it's not 88 anymore. Anyway, um, Todd Schaefer also wheeled this car to several victories, including an Outlaw Triumph. Awesome car, uh, the wrap on it. I liked it best when it was white with red. It was cool when it was red, black, and white as well, but that's the car I like better. Uh, number eight, the red, the specific red and black M&M painting Marks Racing number 19M driven by Brent Marks. A, a lot of people like the white more. This is my list. You cannot change my mind. This isn't a debate. Bait, really, it's not, you know, it's my personal favorite. It's my top 10 favorite, and I like the red and black one better. Um, Brent wheeled that car to a lot of victories, a lot of key victories on the road against the Outlaws in Charlotte, at Eldora, several places. So it is one of the most iconic in not only PA, but maybe even racing history. Number seven, and I had to fight myself with this one because it is my current favorite day driver, but I wanted to put it a little higher. I had to swallow my bias. 
the number the specifically this year's the red black and yellow trimmed with white numbers number 39m driven by the concrete kid the hottest driver in the east coast maybe even the country the mac machine anthony macri what more can you say about that car it's just a real simple design with some beautiful wrapping um the sponsorships are placed beautifully um it's only got nicer as the years went on so um not only is he my favorite driver of this day and age he's also dr driving one of the best looking hot rods in all of central pa which brings us now to number seven which would be the number 17 e the red white and blue miller chevrolet driven by chris h this car was so special especially when he had the american flag design right after 9 11 and i'm pretty sure he beat the outlaws in that deal um in that specific rap i know he beat the outlaws before but um this has had a lot of classic designs the yellow and red with the blue the most predominantly red and blue and the red white and blue the white with the red numbers and the blue trim beautiful car beautiful car what more oh, i'm sorry this was number six this was number six i'm losing track here i'm new at these list videos so bear with me which brings us to our top five and at number five is the jim and sandy klein orange orangish yellow blue and red number 22 driven by some of the again some of the greatest drivers that ever stepped foot in a 410 sprint car specifically kenny jacobs freddie fast freddie raymer senior and the late the great one of the greatest of all time at least in central pa standards mr greg hodnett that's when i fell i first fell for this car actually when Dean Klein, the Klein's grandson, was running 358s in it. And the car just evolved from there. Unfortunately, Dean did not, but the car did. And as the car got better, the designs got better. That's a car that won the Williams Grove National Open back in 2009. Um, several key victories. Um, and the Klein's still sponsor Anthony Macri to this day. So pretty historic there considering my idol had a role in my new favorites life but the specific 22h was a beautiful car number four and now this is getting tough the don kreitz Vollmer patterns um i forget who sponsors it now baby blue white and now orange number 69k which has been driven by don kreitz himself and the legend, the GOAT, arguably, Lance DeWeese. Um, beautiful car. You can't really say it's such a classic, iconic design. You really can't say more about it. Um, number three. This is where it got dicey for me because this could have went in any order, really. The Bob Stewart, Apple Chevrolet, Cars by Dealers Magazines, red and like a charcoal i don't know how to describe the original numbers on the 12 the metallic like uh yellowish and then go into the red and white car that hodnet drove the number the bob stewart motorsports number 12. such a beautiful again some of the goats uh kevin gobrecht Fred Raymer, Keith Kaufman, Greg Hodnett. <laughs> does it get any better than that? I don't think it does. It might, which we'll get into in honorable mentions after number two. Number two, the Zemco headers. Zemco tool and die speed equipment, number one Z, which has been driven by the likes of Kevin Gobrek, my personal favorite of all time. His signature is right there, Billy Pouch. Jeff Shepard, Stevie Smith, Lucas Wolf, uh, Shawn Michael, 
uh, Danny Osaski had a cup of tea in that car. And now, with the classic white design, Logan Wagner. Such a beautiful car. Any design of this car has been one of the flashiest on the track. I personally like the, the classic, like, black with the neon blue and purple, you know, wrapped onesie, the car that Billy Pouch set the world record in at Syracuse. I also like the silver that Go Brecton Pouch drove and Jeff Shepard drove. Any rendition of this car, you can't, it's hard pressed to beat it, but one did. First, let's get into some honorable mentions, and we are reaching time constraints here. The 53K owned by Sean Keen, driven by the likes of Skip Jackson, Sean Keen. I forget who else drove that. The Peterbilt number 17, which was driven by the likes of Tyler Walker, among others. Um, the, of course, the Al Hamilton Mannheim Auto Auction number 77, which was driven by Fred Raymer, Lance DeWeese, Keith Kaufman, and Greg Hodnett. Right there is your Mount Rushmore of the Pennsylvania Posse. Again, can't change my mind. Let's get into number one. I, I don't think this comes as a surprise. The Walter Dyer, Dyer Masonary, number 461, which was driven by the likes of Joey Allen, Lance DeWeese. Lance DeWeese has been in half of these freaking rides. I even think he might have drove the 12 for a little bit, if I'm mistaken. Not very long. Um, Lance DeWeese, Kurt Michael, Billy Pouch had a cup of coffee in it. Uh, Mike Wagner, Kurt Michael, Shawn Michael. The brick design, you don't get any more iconic than that. It, it, you're hard-pressed to look around the country and name a flashier car than the Brickmobile. Beautiful machine, one of the most successful in history, and it's a rendition that's coming to the late models when Walter Dyer is honored at Hagerstown Speedway June 6th, I want to say. So that's how classic it is to... Turn a sprint car design into a late model design, you have to be doing something right. And Walter Dyer did with not only the design, but his choice in wheelmen and his success. What is your top 10? What are some of your honorable mentions? I did miss a few like Lucas Wolf's 5W, um, Steve, the 51 owned by Fred Raymer, um, there are a few others, but this is my list. You can disagree all you want. You can't change my mind. And this is, this, I'm hard. Uh, it was so hard. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you feel like spreading awareness, share with a friend. I'm Elegant Eddie Bainey. Let's go Sixers. And I'll see you at the races.